Hey everyone, this is the 10th video in the multi-language Bazel monorepo series. Today we're going to be creating a Java project in our monorepo. We're going to use some external dependencies and we're going to walk through the whole thing. Uh, first of all, as I mentioned, this is the 10th video. So we have a bunch of other videos here. We started off with how to query and uh, run different targets. We then moved on to Python, GitHub Actions, Golang, Node.js, Docker, Heroku, Gazelle. This is the 10th video, as I said. Um, it might be the last one. I might move on to something else after this, but if there's any other Bazel videos you'd like to see, um, please let me know in the comments. So with that, we're going to get right into it. So first of all, in Bazel, uh, we generally have these different Lang rule sets. With Java, the base Java rules are actually built into Bazel itself, so we don't need to bring in a rule set. We have Java library, Java binary, um, there for free already. So we're just gonna start off by creating our directories. So this is gonna recursively create a bunch of directories, projects, Java Greta, source mean, main Java, com, Chris Foster, and we're gonna have the, this package in the end called main. So this is where we're gonna start. So we have Java Greeter the whole way down to main. So in here, I'm just gonna create a new file. I'm gonna call it main.java. This isn't a Java tutorial, so this is gonna be very simple. Um, the main thing we're focusing on here is how to get Java code to run with Bazel. So I just have this simple class here, main class, hello world, and it's in the main package. So as usual now, we're gonna create a new file. It's gonna be called build.bazel. As I mentioned, uh, we get Java binary for free with Bazel, so we don't actually even need to import that rule at the top here. We can just use it. Uh, we can see over here in the Bazel documentation that we can see all the arguments here. We're gonna have to use name, sources, main class, and depths eventually. We're not gonna have any depths yet though. So first of all, the name is gonna be just main, this is going to match up with our package here. So it's going to be a default target for this package. We're going to have one source and the source is going to be main.java. We're going to have a main class and the main class is going to equal the package here, dot main. So with this, we should be able to run this Java binary target and get our hello world app running. So we're gonna use Bazel run, projects, Java greeter. We're gonna to have to go the whole way down to main and run this. So things are happening and we can see here we get hello world. By the way, you most likely will need to have Java installed on your machine for this to work. With Bazel and Java, uh, this will work by default. You can do some much more advanced things and set up your Java tool chains and have it um, working really nicely with that. But for this example, we're just gonna go super simple. It's gonna be using the Java that's installed on your machine. So we have this simple Hello World application now, that's fine. Um, just to talk a little bit about the structure here. So you could lay this out in multiple ways, um, but it seems that the general consensus is for Java to have a Bazel package per Java package. and this just makes things much more efficient with Bazel because it can build all of your packages in parallel and it's very smart about knowing the graph and what it needs to build and, and everything like that. So this is kind of the general consensus. You could also have this build.bazel file up in the very root here and it could discover your sources and um, the whole way down the tree dynamically. Um, but for now, we're gonna do this. Uh, it's, it's quite nice because it, it shows um, that Bazel is good at this kind of thing. Uh, that you can build these targets individually and, and it's really nice. So next we're gonna create another Java package and this is just gonna be called greeter. And in here, we're going to be putting a Java class uh, that's going to use an external dependency and it's going to greet someone random each time. So let's just create the, the file now. Let's call it greeter.java. But I kind of, um, I'm moving ahead here a little bit. 
whenever I should be uh, going back and discussing a little bit about external dependencies because we're going to need an external dependency for this class. So as I mentioned, we get kind of Java library and Java binary rules for free with rules Java, but you don't get anything to interact with external dependencies such as um, Maven Central. And if you're coming from the world of Maven, you're gonna know Maven Central, that's where you get your dependencies from. Obviously there's nothing um, like that for Bazel. Uh, there's no like, we don't push our Java packages to like a Bazel central, central repository that you can easily get them with, with Bazel. So we use Maven Central to get our dependencies. We get all our dependencies from there. So that means there needs to be some kind of a bridge between Bazel and Maven and Right now, the best way to do this is to use Rules JVM external. So this is another rule set, another Bazel rule set. And as usual, you can bring it in here like this. They have in the readme, they show you the code you need to put in your workspace. So we're gonna look in our workspace and at the very bottom, we're gonna paste this in and then we're gonna look at it a little bit. So we already have our HTTP archive definition at the top. So we don't need that again, so we can delete that. Then here we're just defining the versions of rules JVM external and we're giving the SHA, which is fine. So we can keep this all the same. This is all good. And then we can see that rules JVM external gives you this Maven install rule. And this is, um, this is kind of important because this is where we define our dependencies and we also define our Maven repositories. So here you could see that uh, we will be able to use a private repository if you're in an organization. Um, you would probably need to do this. You wouldn't be getting, getting it from the public Maven repository. Uh, but for now, we're going to delete that because we don't need it. This is going to be a very simple example. Then we define our artifacts. So we actually are just going to bring one artifact in, and that is something called Java Faker. And this is going to be used to generate our random names. So we can do that. So this is defining our one um, Java dependency, which is coming from these Maven Central repositories. And what will happen here is it's gonna try the first one. If it fails, it's gonna to go to the second one and try that, so this is this is good. With this setup right now, uh, we will be able to do something like Bazel query at Maven, which we'll be able to query all of our Maven dependencies like this. So let's just see what this comes up with. So, now you can see uh, there's a bunch of dependencies under Maven or a bunch of targets under this Maven namespace. The first one is our Java Faker. Um, we can then see that there are some uh, dependencies of Java Faker, so we have all the transitives here. You can also do some advanced things, uh, like you can also download the source jars and things like that, but as I said, we're gonna, gonna go super, super simple. You can also see here we have this target called pin, and we're gonna talk about this now in a minute. Um, but for now, with the most simple use case, we are able to use these dependencies in our build files now. But we're gonna take this one step further, uh, just because I think it's very easy to do and it gives us a big advantage. So looking a bit further down the documentation, uh, we can see that it starts to discuss about pinning. And this is cool because this will give us a source of truth file, which is this maven install.json for all our dependencies. And this is gonna include things like the, um, the checksums for those files. And this is good because it improves the caching ability of Bazel with your Java project. So it's, you get it pretty much for free, so you might as well use it. So first of all, we need to generate this pin file using maven pin and if we do this, we can see we get this maven install.json file and it gives us details about this. So we has, have this dependency called Java Faker that we defined and we can see the dependencies of that. And it, it also has the, the hashes and, and the SHA-256 of all these dependencies. And it just gives us, um, gives us that, which is nice. So then to be able to use this in our maven install rule, we should pass in our JSON file like this. And then last of all, 
we're going to call pinned maven install which is going to do all of that magic for us so now again we can do bazel query at maven and this is um this is going to be coming now all these uh, dependencies the source of truth is now this pinned maven install json file so if we actually change this to be version 1.0.1 and we queried uh, you can see this maven install json file doesn't change so if we had targets that used um java faker those targets would still actually be using the 1.0.2 because this maven install file is the source of truth and this is what will be checked into our repo so in order to regenerate this we would have to run bezel run and i guess the target is here Uh, this unpinned maven which is uh, is what is used to do the pinning so when I run this it would change the maven install to have 101 so so that's cool let's go back to 102 so that's everything really about external dependencies we're going to use maven central to download our java dependencies and these are all going to be pinned in this maven install just json file which we can also check in so that's nice, and we're now able to use these external dependencies from our build files. So now let's take this to the next step. We're going to create this greeter.java class here. As I said, this isn't a Java tutorial, so I'm just going to paste this in, and we're going to look at what's happening here. So we can see that we're importing this faker class, which is coming from our external dependency that we just discussed. And whenever this greater class is initialized, we're going to instantiate a faker. And then we have this public method called greet, which is going to um, greet a random name, which is generated using the faker class. So this is a nice uh, greeter class now. And as you can imagine, from main, we're going to call this greeter class now instead of just saying hello world. So to do that, I'm just going to paste this in. The only thing that's changed here is we're going to import the greeter class uh, from our other Bazel package. And we're going to call greeter.greet instead of calling hello world. So what do we need to do here now? Um, obviously, we have this Java binary. We're going to have to pass a dependency in here, which is going to be the other Bazel package, which has the other Java class there so we're going to put that in in a minute but first of all we have to actually def define our java library and again java library is built into bezel we don't need to bring any other rules or anything like that uh, so again we're going to have a name and the name is going to be java greeter let's call it greeter um, because that is the, the package name it's the directory name, so it's going to be the default target for this. So that's that's good. Sources, we're going to have one source, which is going to be greeter.java. Then we're going to have depths. And so at this side, the dependency is going to be the external dependency, which we had, which was Java Faker, because that's what we're importing here. So if I was to do a Bazel query, at maven we should be able to see java faker so this is the one that we want to bring in that's our dependency so now if we wanted to we could actually do a basal build projects uh, let's go to java greeter and let's go the whole way down and we're going to build greeter and this should all work so that's that's great so this is building a, a java library if we were to remove this dependency, like this, uh, you can see that uh, it complains because Java Faker doesn't exist. So we don't have this class, but once we have the dependency, we get that class and it all works. So that's good. We have this Java library now, and this Java library is internal to our monorepo. So we're just going to use this library over here so this is, let's just copy here. This should be the whole way down like this. And 
we have already changed the Java code here to use the new greeter class. So let's build main and see what this says. So it's going to complain. Let's see, it should be complaining. Oh, dep, it should be deps. Um, what I was expecting was for it to complain about visibility. So still not visibility error. I guess I'm missing this. So what they should com complain about is the visibility. Um, so check the visibility declaration. Yeah. So this is basically saying that although we want to use this dependency, um, the Bazel build system is saying that this dependency actually shouldn't be visible um, here. And this is one of the nice things about Bazel is it enforces this strict visibility. So it tries to reduce the amount of spaghetti code that's going on. You can't just go in and grab dependencies, Java libraries from different places. You have to explicitly list them out. So we're going to set the visibility here. And visibility is a list. Um, you can make the visibility just public, uh, but it's probably a good thing to try not to do that. So we're just going to say that the visibility here of the greeter is going to be main. And we're going to say sub packages. So it's going to allow any sub package of main here to be able to use this dependency. So now if we build, uh, again, we need that. Now if we build, we can see it all builds. Okay, so that's perfect. So now if we go to run the main class, you can see we get this hello Kendra Lang first, hello Giuseppina Adams the second. So we get all these random names, so this is cool. So the main thing here is, as I mentioned, uh, we have this kind of one, one, one model going on, which is saying that for every Java package, we have a single Bazel package. It's, it's nice because, uh, as I said, Bazel likes to build things in parallel and it means that all these things can be built in parallel where possible. Obviously here it actually can't because this, uh, this target, the main target depends on this. So this would have to be built first and, and all of that. But it's, it's kind of nice to have this separation as well. So in this video, we introduced Java into our multi-language monorepo. We discussed a little bit about external dependencies and we built a Java library and a Java binary. And in the last video, we, we used Gazelle. So it's actually quite a good exercise now to do Bazel run Gazelle, which is going to format our build files. So if you're interested in looking back at that, uh, you, can, you can see that. As you can see, it changed the indentation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.